Hello everybody, welcome back to our beginners belly dance classes. I hope you're practicing and you're enjoying these classes. Um, if I haven't heard back from you or somehow, <laughs> please reach out to me and let me know how you are progressing with your practice and especially let me know if I needed to uh, clear up a few questions that you have or uncertainty that you have encountered while you were practicing. I'm really here available and uh, I would like to use this uh, internet uh, online medium in, a, in the most wise way possible so that I can deliver the best class for you and you can have a, a great experience and learn um, to dance a belly dance in a beautiful, nice uh, and uh, joyful way. So today I want to continue teaching the H shape. Last time we have worked on the horizontal H shape and I would like to continue with the vertical H shape and if we have time, I don't know, I'm going to go into what I say the transversal H shape, which is a combination of the horizontal with the vertical H shape of the hips. And of course, we're going to integrate the chest as well. We're going to do something a little bit more spicy today for warm up. So we're going to start in a certain way and then we're going to go into um, kind of a drill that I personally use as a warm-up. So stick with me if you don't know how to do those movements that we're going to do in the warm-up. Don't worry, just follow along and imitate me. That's done on purpose to allow your brain, brain to, um, to release self-consciousness, tension and self-judgment or whatever. It's just to enjoy the movement and trying something new if you haven't done anything like that before, okay? So as usual, clear your space for dancing, take a sip of water, get hydrated, and let's get started. Let's start with our belly and our warm-up, the step on your plate. Never in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Stop, 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 stop. And inhale. Now we go forward. Now, 
Push your hips forward, back, sorry, outside. <laughs> Go to the side, they don't go back. Don't forget to breathe. Slide your hips. Bring your hands here. Index on top of your thumb. You can even touch them.
gently focus on your shoulders, legs together, your knees move up and down, never down. Deep breath in and exhale. Go back to the gentle step on your place. One, two, three, four. 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 Arms. going with the music.
table with your head. Now we start the part of the warm up where you have to trust me. <laughs> okay, just follow along with me. Uh, we have done in this first part of the warm up some work on listening and responding to rhythm with the steps, with the movement, with our hands, and it went as it went. Okay, now we started to focus more on, on the beat, on the posture, on the alignment where you, we put our hands. Uh, um, what part of the body we have to focus on. In this part I want you to follow along, so follow me and try to understand what part, what muscles you are using to do the movements and uh, try to observe your posture. I want you to, your posture to be aligned, elegant, straight, so navel in, chest up, chin slightly up, <laughs> okay? And when we go to the side, one, one quarter to the side, please don't go all the way to the side. I, if I have, if I see you, if I, if I were in person, I will have to see your chest, okay? And your hip, and also the other hand. So if I don't see the other hand, something is not in the right place. So make sure that if someone looks at you, they can see everything. Your hands will change position from here to here to here to here, okay? Here, even this one, which I like a lot, this one, you will see as we go, okay? And we're gonna move both to the right, center, and left. Sorry, right, center, and left, <laughs> depends. Of course, you will see, you will understand. Just mirror me and everything will be fine. <laughs> we start with the hip up and down <clears throat> with the accent on the right hip. We change stuff every 8 or 16 movements. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hips back and forth. Now, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
add something new that we haven't yet started just to start to give um, ideas to the body of what can be done okay um, so now we are warm <laughs> and we can do a little bit more of our um, technical aspect of our classes of course so last time we have done the H shape and just to briefly refresh it we are in the center we twist our hips navel is in go forward through the diagonal to your right circle back keep the diagonal back and back to the center you're still twisted but this time you have the left hip forward you proceed through the diagonal forward the circle back and center again okay And this is our H shape or horizontal backward. The forward is the opposite. Our right hip instead to twist forward, twist back, and it goes diagonal back, circle forward, diagonal back to the center, back, forward, center, back, forward. And you have your beautiful. H shape horizontal forward. Doing this apart, our heels are fully on the floor. So you do not lift your heels from the floor because that's uh, a technique that it is used for the transversal and uh, more, yeah, it makes it more transversal than horizontal. If you want it really horizontal, you really need it to go on with the hip, heels on the floor, okay? Those are all refinements that you will learn as you dance, but just to give you a heads up, if you want to really learn H shape, practice them first with your heels on the floor. Now, let's look into the H shape vertical. We have two of them, one is called commonly uh, Maya and the other one is called Taksim. The Maya is basically an H shape that goes from the center of your hips, remember the immobilite, the humeral side to side. So from the center you go on the diagonal up, out, down, diagonal back up to the center to continue to the other diagonal up, out, down, center. These movements, I will explain it better in a few seconds, it's very important because it combines up and down movement, so you need to push your hip up, and it combines also the slide out. That's why I put out so as a first class a slide side to side and then up and down hips because those two movements are basically the key to any other movements in belly dance. So if you master that structure, you are in a very good <laughs> place. So let me break it down better for you. This one is the Maya movement. So from here you have your beam of light right at the center of your hip breed and you want to move it out to your right side but you want to create a circle on your uh, right side. So you're here, soften your knees, your knees are not rigid, they are not really bent, they are soft. Okay, so you lift your um, right heel which you have to do by stretching more your right uh, knee, then you push it out, then you bend your knee, your right knee, and your hip naturally goes down. And then you push the energy in. Now, what happens is that your right knee is bent, your left is stretched, extended, so that the left hip is up, then you push it out, bend your right, your left knee, and transfer the weight 
to basically to the earth you actually transfer and push the weight with your left foot on planet earth so that you can transfer the energy you know the weight to your right hip because now your hip is up now your weight is basically going to the right side your right knee is straight left is bent and push out down out the other side out 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 so your heels are on the floor but your knees move back and forth or they bend and they stretch to allow your hips to move because without the help of your knees, you cannot absolutely do this movement because you will not create the space. So if, from, if you're here, again, I repeat it. Your knees are soft and slightly bent actually. Here, to start it's better to have them a little bit bent. Uh, not completely bent, just a little bit. So from here, you stretch the right, knee and the right hip goes up then push out roll it down now you are quite bent here now transfer the weight the energy to your left knee and the left knee stretch left hip goes up the right knee is still bent push out down and you continue. You have to use also your obliques. Okay, it's a Maya because it's an hypnotic type of movement. So I lose myself when I practice this one. When we do the taksim, it's exactly the opposite movement. The taksim goes down, out, circle up to return back to the center. So the principle of your legs, of your knees is exactly the same but the energy moves to the opposite direction. So if you're here, soften your knees. You have to have like space to bounce back and up and down here. So you go first down and to go first down, you have to bend your uh, right knee more because you have to push your hips down, okay? Your right hip down. So from here, you slide out so your weight is all to the right side. You push it up using your obliques because your heels are on the floor. Back to the center and you continue because now it's basically a diagonal flow. You go down and then your left is pushing down, up, center, continue. I have people practicing this and they want to lift the heels at any cost. I totally understand, but it's better that you use the slide, side to side, that you use your obliques. This is a very good workout. And you fortify your legs, which create stamina. is way better if we use our heels. So I'll show you what happens when we use our heels. In Maya, we are here. Let me step back so you can actually see my heels. So 
So in Maya, you are up, down, up, down. This is with the heels, and I'm going just vertical. I'm using heels, knees, obliques. This is very good if you want to walk. And this is without the heels. I have to do more work in pushing out. Heel. Without. The feeling, the feeling is different. The workout is different. Let's try the taksim with heels and without heels. So with heels is this. And I like it a lot. Without heels, has this one. Again, heels. Without. Good. <laughs> now, let's take a look to the transversal um, a shape. Why I call it transversal? Because it's actually an horizontal that when you use your heels it becomes more of a transversal <laughs> movement. So um, basically instead of to create an H shape like this, you create an H shape that goes around <laughs> the entire hips area. It's a very powerful movement. So let me start with the forward okay it's basically so the forward is forward and my heels are down on the floor okay if I use my heels left heel up right hip up left hip up same principle everything is the same the only thing that changes is the heels no heel It remains on the horizontal plane. Heels. It looks more like a taksim, but it's not a taksim because here I'm twisting my hips forward. The taksim, my hips remain frontal and they work only on the vertical plane. So if I'm doing the horizontal or the transversal, I'm using the horizontal and I twist the hips which it allows you to twist the hips even more because this one, this is the extension, but with the heels up, look how much more I can twist. Okay. The other way around, so going back with the hips, I don't use these too much. I use it to walk forward or to walk backward left heel right heel left heel right heel this is another variation that you can use one at a time one at a time one at a time one two three four five six seven eight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's an incredible workout. If you have a spine issue, trust me, it, it puts your spine back to alignment because I have several issues with my spine. I never have problem after doing this exercise. But I keep my navel in, my inner muscles contracted. 
align my obliques and I use my legs very powerfully. So let's create a combination with this and let's include also the horizontal um, H shape. Yes, it is heavy to teach these things. <laughs> My heels are on the floor. Eight shape horizontal, going back. Heel. with the heels Maya Walk Candles down. Heels up. Okay. 
center. Take a moment, take a sip of water, and we are going to try for a few more minutes, some more composition, more possibilities. The more you practice these movements, the more they will become natural, and you will understand how your muscles work and move when you practice. I just suggest you to enjoy the movement, try to understand what muscles you have to use, I use a lot of my knees, as I said before, I use a lot of my obliques and I use a lot of my navel. There are dancers that don't need to use all these muscles and you know, I know dancers that use only the obliques or only their thighs. Uh, for spine alignment, I need to use way more muscles than any other dancers. So for me, it's a, a true workout in all sense possible and imaginable. Let's uh, take a sip of water and let's try with another song, with another piece of music and let's practice more. I didn't do the transversal um, eight shape in the previous uh, uh, portion of the practice, so we're gonna include that now. Go back with your hips. <laughs> I'm going by combining the step with the H shape. Up, down, up, down, up. I'm bending my knees and moving my heels at the same time. with the heels on the floor. Maya. Don't worry that the transitions are not clean as of now. Focus on the movement. A shape transversal with your hip and heels up, going back.
cancer that sometimes I cannot really talk while I'm doing it because I want to keep the concentration and I'm checking that the posture is accurate so that you can imitate something that is correct. <laughs> I do find this very, very fun. I love it. I put it all, almost in every movement, in every dance I do. So um, just enjoy the movement, really enjoy your body moving. <laughs> Feel it, dance it, really, really dive into it. And you will see if you practice a few times, you will learn these movements very quickly because they are encoded naturally in our body. So we just needed to remember that we are capable of doing those movements. Cool down. <laughs> Let's go into our cool down. Take a deep breath in and exhale, inhale and exhale. stretch up and back using your navel. You bend forward, shift the weight back and forth, bend your knees, your knees are inside your elbows and then stretch. Interlace your hands, unglade your torso, and roll back up. Sometimes I need to do that to relax my spine more. Straight to the center, hands down by the side of your body, navel in, left arm up, bend to your Center, up, center, inhale, up, exhale, curve your spine, head forward, navel in, inhale, and exhale. Left foot back, right in the front on your heel, hold your toes. Change. Center. Grab your right foot with your left hand. Right arm is up. Knees are connected. Relax. The other leg.
relax. Sometimes I like to do something to stretch more. My ellipsos, so same foot, same leg. Lift and stretch back. Relax. It's not one of my favorite yoga posture. <laughs> uh, head. Center, chin up. Take a deep breath in, bring the energy aligned, up and down, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, now integrate, inhale, Inhale and exhale. One more time. Thank you so much for watching. I renew my invitation to contact me if you have any questions. And I keep going practicing, keep going dancing. It's beautiful to dance and enjoy moving the body. It's very healthy, it's very energetic, and it changes our mood. So enjoy it. See you in the next video. Bye.